welcome to the Loose Lanier channel. Uh, January 13th, uh, daily guidance, and the the tarot still wants to uh, still wants to play. So we will indulge. And I'll shuffling certain cards. Well, one card slipped out in particular, but we won't talk about that unless it shows up. <laughs> the guidance for today, please. Guidance for I. Good. Okay. Oh. What is going on here? What is actually going on? Um, okay, so we have the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay. Um. Five of Cups, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups in Reverse. Clarifying the Five of Cups, we have Judgment and the King of Cups in Reverse. Judgment wanting to do a little bit of this. Uh, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Five of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. The Two of Cups, <laughs> clarified by the Seven of Cups. Is this in Reverse? Whatever. Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Knight of Wands. Um, the card that slipped out was the Devil in Reverse. Uh, from the Queen of Cups I'm getting a little bit of uh, spite. not entirely spite in like a bad way it's more like uh it's it's spite for sure i guess but it's more so that spite where i'm going to show you that without you my life is better. I'm going to show you that you need me. That kind of spite. Which reminds me of some devil energy, really. I mean, it came out in the reverse, yes, but the devil energy, energy has been giving me something very different, and I'm very happy about that because, yeah. A certain self-absorption, but in spite of something. I just, I, I, again, I would err on the side of being careful. 
this could be in spite of, you know, a co-worker, again, a co-worker, uh, a relationship in your life, you take it how you will. This is hitting me romantically because of the cards that are here, okay, but I don't want to take this on a romantic journey, but this Queen of Cups here is giving me, uh, Someone who's trying to act brand new. <laughs> so in spite. So, yeah, you are, maybe, you know, this, this Queen of Cups is doing better. This Queen of Cups is, yes, doing the things and on the outside looking, looking like they're doing the stuff. But on the inside, their motives are uh, in spite you know, I'm gonna show you what you lost in an employee by XYZ. I'm gonna show you that I was, you know, right in that argument by XYZ. I'm gonna show you that you missed out on the best thing in your life <laughs> by da 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 da. Flaunting. Acting brand new. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying words here. The great thing about this is we have the Five of Cups, and then we have the Two of Cups, sandwiching the Queen of Cups. The, the, the Five of Cups here has Judgment in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. Uh, the Five of Cups is something. Um, unrequited sometimes when I see it I see unrequited love and it's probably that whole spike story it's really cold in this room oh. um, it's just that this, this five of cups did not show up in the reverse it showed up in the upright However, the overall energy here is kind of looking like a little reversey, simply because these two cups that are up here are down. Someone faking, in a way, that things are two of cupsy, yet this hurt me, this brought me some sort of sorrow. However, you know, on the surface, what we see is, oh, you know, she's flossing, she's doing well, what we want to project to the world. However, on the back end, these two cups are not entirely standing. They're, in fact, not. They've fallen as well. And furthermore, all those things that are being projected as, as being had. Um, the Queen of Cups is still looking for them. If anything, she's still being affected by whatever didn't work out here. This thing that she wanted, this thing that she wants, what do they say, judgment is a second chance or something? I guess. The stuff here that didn't quite work out the way she wanted and in some ways still wants. This could even be someone who's single showing to spirit, like, oh, you know, I'll show you. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the stuff. I have the money. I have the job. I have the stuff. And yet, the... Um, the joy that those things bring may not, they're still, you know, the, 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 the person is still looking for the deep desire that they want uh, within them. What the fuck is judgment in reverse? All I'm seeing here is something that is yet to be reborn, something that someone still wants. Alright, intuitive hits. Let's go to the book. See what they say. Extra stuff. 
Reverse leanings, delay, disappointment, failure to face facts, indecision, divorce, procrastination, theft, alienation of affections. I like that with the King of Cups there. Alienation of affections. Something about the past. <laughs> Our tart conversations came out. So maybe it was a conversation that was never had. Or over a conversation that was had. That someone still wants to have. something <laughs> I mean this is all of us isn't it in some in some degree there's something that we are still emotionally tied I mean this is the five of cups really on its own there's something that we are um today still emotionally attached to something that we uh that used to bring us a sense of joy that used to give us a sense of um fulfillment um that we today are still connected to, really, try as one might, something that's still um, active. And I think the guidance for today is <laughs> there I say it. Um but it's okay. Let it um, run its course. Yeah, let it run its course. Mm, justice and the Queen of Pentacles. That's really funny. I was thinking about justice, justice, and the judgment today. No, it wasn't today, it was like a couple of days ago. Um, in some cases, I feel like something will be rehashed in some way. Um, That is, it's almost, which is the message I was saying right before Justice and the Queen of Pentacles came out, that it's almost okay for you to cry over spilled milk. It was milk that was important to you. It was milk that was expensive. It's milk that you went out of your way to get. It's okay for you to allow yourself the moment to grieve. Um, the moment to love on yourself and that part of you that is uh, maybe grieving or mourning the loss of shit, whatever. So that you, you can move through it. Does that make sense? So that, so that you can move through it. And this has been a theme, actually. This has been a theme. Well, the three of swords, it's just, it's been a theme where it's sometimes 
we are pushing ourselves into healing and we think that healing looks like butterflies and, and sunshine when healing is sometimes crying healing is sometimes crawling in your bed and just laying down for an hour I had to do that there was a day um, and the guidance matched up so beautifully to it I don't know what happened I was just it just hit with just a low emotion and and I was having a pretty decent day, so I don't even know if it was my emotion or not. I had checked some emails, and I just, oh, man, I, I can't, like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I have to separate myself, man. Um, I think it was a comment, I don't know what happened, but I had to go to bed. I just had to, like, just lay down, and, and then I watched on one of the dailies, <laughs> the daily for the next day, and it was just such an on-point message for me in that moment. Sometimes it's worth us to, yes, swim in the pool of our sorrows. And today could be one of those days where, not, not necessarily that you would be swimming in the pool of your sorrows, but like you can give yourself permission to uh, mourn or give yourself permission to wallow, you know? And then pick yourself up when, when it's time. Because it's looking like to me with this two of cups here and this queen that... Um, Before you can even get to this stuff here, to this being upright, where you can enter into partnership, it's sort of a solo dolo for now, where you are doing this flossing thing, but there are still some things in, in your heart that you bring justice to <laughs> um, by tending to, to them, tending and caring for them. In, in the physical world. Uh, for some of you, if there's something, um, I don't know, if there's something lawful here for you, cool. <laughs> I, I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna scratch that I said that. Um, I feel like uh, there's reason for you to do justice to your wounds. Everybody's so wounded. Before stepping into new energy with other people or things of that nature. It may be more of a reminiscing energy than uh, something actually happened today type thing. But if something did actually come about today for you, take the time to uh, be in that space and let it move through you. Especially as it relates to uh, missed opportunities and false starts, um, disconnected people in your life, emotionally disconnected people in your life, and things that you thought would be promising uh, but weren't. Yeah. Be gentle with yourself
keep your light on, and good luck.